I really just wanted to go out there as fast as I could and try to hold on at the end. Um, just as a sprinter, trying to use my front end speed to kind of get out of there. Greg talked to me before my race. He just told me, get out of my comfort zone. I've kind of been taking the first 100 out a little easier. And he's like, you're a sprinter. You need to use your sprinter speed. I'm really excited. I mean, Leah and I were watching over there, and I thought I was ninth. But when I saw that I was eighth, we both like screamed and stuff. It was really exciting. I'm excited to be in it. Oh my gosh, yes. I thought she was where everyone else was. And I was like, I'm a body length behind at the 50. But it ended up being okay, so. <laughs> It felt really good, uh, really smooth and strong, and um, it, it felt really good today. Yeah, I have mornings off at some international meets and um, have experience with that, so I'll come and swim just a little bit in the morning, and um, I'll be able to take an earlier nap than I normally do, which is nice, and I know I'll feel fresh and ready to go tomorrow night. Yeah, this is, will be my fourth Olympic, so uh, I mean, it was a not so good time for me. But, you know, I made the Olympic team. I'm going to Rio. It is a big relief. Uh, now I guess I can take a deep breath and relax. I mean, well, not uh, fully relax. I mean, I have four more events, so I'm not 110% where I need to be uh, due to little things. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to Rio. It's this point in the time, obviously the place. It's great for those guys. Uh, both incredible people. Obviously very fast backstrokers. I think the U.S. will be in good hands with them in the individual races and the relay. Uh, yeah, I put everything I had into this for the last couple of years. I don't have any regrets. Uh, when I was behind the blocks, I didn't have any doubts of not putting everything I had into this. So really that's all I could ask for is making sure I put my best effort forward. I feel like the uglier Ugly is not the right word, but like if I can be ugly in a way that keeps my hips up, that's better. No one's super pretty at the end, but there's guys who are really good at the end. So that leads me to believe it's more about fitness than about technique. I'm sure there are people that will disagree with me. Underwaters don't win races, but underwaters lose races, I think. The back is over. There's nothing we can do about it now, and I think that's the one good thing, is that she's got tomorrow morning off. Um, she's got the two free final. That two free was a great race for her tonight. She swam exactly the race strategy she needed to. And even at the end, she was she was catching people at the, you know, the finish of that two free, and that's that's the signature missing. The turn free was pretty crazy. Uh, we didn't get to see the times from the first heat um, before we swam, so we all were kind of guessing like what the first heat might have gone. Um, I think I was a little nervous to be next to Katie. My coach told me not to go out with her the first 100. So are you playing swim both miles? I think so. Um, I mean, I guess it's kind of like go big or go home at this point. I mean, I did them both tonight. And it worked out well. It was pretty mellow, actually. I just wanted to, you know, have a strong last 50, <laughs> but um, wasn't trying to put everything into it. And you know, Melanie is obviously an amazing freestyler, and she can close like nobody's business. So um, it's nice to get my hand on the wall, but it really doesn't matter till tomorrow night. 